Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Um, I'm going to do a quick little DIY project from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can also get these items from the 99 cent store. Uh, it is going to cost you $4 and um, you may already have these items in your home like I did and then it won't cost you anything. But it's going to be a cocoa coffee bar slash appetizer station. So I'm going to make one for uh, Christmas and then one for New Year's Eve. And all you're going to need are um, two of either matching or, um, well, two matching of these tea light holders. And these were from the Dollar Tree. I got them last year, um, but they do have them this year also. And then this year they came out with these ones. They're like gold mercury glass tea light holders and um, these are really good size I like these um, they had them in silver and bronze I think I can't remember but these were at the Dollar Tree and then so you need two of those and if you like all the same color you know if you want to do two like I am then get all the same color but I just wanted one for each holiday um, next you're going to need um, a charger plate and now you can see I've already glued mine on here. <laughs> but these are just the charger plates that you get from the Dollar Tree. They're the silver plastic ones. They're really sturdy. Um, you're going to need one of those. And then you're going to need a smaller charger plate or a plate. And this, you want it smaller because you want it to be, you know, this to stand out underneath. Um, I didn't have a second smaller charger, so I'm using one of their glass plates that I already had. Um, but you could see on this one, this was a smaller charger. It was the black faux crocodile design. Um, and how are we going to do this today is we're actually going to hot glue these, not to use E600 or, you know, anything like that, because I want to be able to take it apart and reuse it and store it easier. So I did try that. I've already pulled it apart. I already made them. Um, and this is what has happened. Um, the gold ones came off very easily on, um, this plate and the glass plate, but when I did it for the black one, let's see if I still have it, um, it took off part of the black, you know, underneath, um, so I guess don't try, then either use a plate for your top one or, you know, for like, um, any of them really, um, a plate. These were fine, but these were not. These are thinner, and for some reason it took off the top layer. So maybe use like a plate, a clear plate or a white plate, black plate, if you want to do one for New Year's Eve. So anyways, let's get started. Um, you're going to need a glue gun, some scissors, glue sticks, um, some leftover fabric or ribbon, some repurposed jars, you know, like from salsa or, um, sorry, I'm moving around on my sofa as I'm trying to do this, <laughs> um, or from like a candle that you've cleaned out already. And that's how, that's what we're going to use. We're not going to spend any crazy amount of money for supplies. We're just going to use what we have. And it turns out so cute. Like I really love it. Um, and you can put feet on the bottom of this, but I chose not to, cause I thought it was cuter um not putting feet on the bottom but anyways we are going to put a thick bead of glue right on top of there um and make sure you have enough glue now my little glue gun is small so it dries very you know it, it um cools down very quickly so i have to work fast with it so i'm just going to quickly put some glue on the top rim here Okay, so as you can see, I'm just quickly working with the glue, putting a very generous amount on top. Don't worry about it looking pretty. Just get it on there because you can always pull off the excess layer. Now you put your plate on and you just center it. Right there. You're gonna press down, pretty good. This is pretty sturdy, I have to say. I was pretty impressed how it all kind of came together. Um, then you're going to get your other 
one and we're gonna glue the bottom so I glued it and now I am just centering it like so I'm gonna press down <laughs> Sorry for my fleece <laughs> jacket in the way. It's cold here in California. It's, well, for me it is. It's 54, 55 or something. It was cold last night, but I know I shouldn't complain. Okay, so now we are going to use, get some repurposed jars, like so. This was from the Dollar Tree. Um, they had little candles in it and I cleaned them out already. They're little mason jars, and they're so cute. Um, I just covered them with some, I didn't have fabric, so I'm using this ribbon from the Dollar Tree that I already had, and I just cut pieces to fit over crisscross like this. That makes sense? And just kind of rounded the corner. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna glue that on top. All right, guys, now comes the fun stuff. Um, we're gonna be adding all the goodies to it. Now, just to explain what I did to the tops here, I just put a little bit of ribbon, I crisscrossed the two different ribbons, and then just cut the edges off because they had squared edges, that's, that's all I did. But you could do like a round piece of fabric. Um, even though these are more like glammy looking trays, I still wanted some like down home look to my trays, and that's why I thought these little mason jars were perfect with the old-fashioned ribbon on top. So what I'm, I've decided to do with the, um, the Christmas one is just to make it into a cocoa bar. Um, because with the people coming over, I have a couple different stations that I'll be using and having different things at. And I want to make sure, ooh, excuse me, I have enough stuff for everything and everyone. So I have these little mugs. And you can see there's room where you can put like a full size mug underneath as well. But I like these little white ones. And then I'm gonna add all my goodies into the mason jar. So let me do that and I'll show you. Okay, so I went to the Dollar Tree and got some mini marshmallows, some coffee from the 99 cent store, which I won't be using this time, and some Swiss Miss uh, marshmallow um, cocoa, that's all they had, but double the marshmallow I figured can't hurt. So <laughs> in the mason jars, I put four servings of the packets. Um, so four packets in each of these, this little mason jar. And then I fill this one with the marshmallows and it looks really cute. Um, and then we're just going to put it in here and put it around on the other side, the marshmallows. And then... There we go. And then for the top part, I'm gonna be putting some breakfast pastries, um, some quiches uh, maybe on one side and then some croissants um, or, and cookies on the other side. And then I also went to the dollar store and got a bunch of candy canes. So we're gonna put a bunch in there. Sorry for the camera not being focused there. There we go. Can I loop them over the edge? Like so, perfect. So that turned out really cute. And actually I really love the mason jar idea. Um, it It's the perfect size. And my sister, I'll probably be giving her a little care package of these. Um, they go the day after Christmas skiing uh, to a cabin and all that. And that way they have a serving for their family of four with marshmallows. And I'll do that as a second DIY to show you. Um, and that'll be part of her gift. Now, it's perfect because I can put this anywhere. It's got everything on it. The marshmallows in the back. And the cocoa in the front. And the candy canes for the stir sticks. And then I can put all the pastries and uh, breakfast goodies on top. So now let's, let me show you what I'm going to do with the second one. Okay, so this one, this is going to be my appetizer one or my drink station for New Year's Eve. So I put these little ramekins on top, red and white, and it alternated the color. And I'll probably do um, spinach dip, um, and then maybe put some shrimp in this one, shrimp in that one, and in the back one I'll put a separate dip. 
And then on the bottom, I will put um, some pita chips, some um, possibly like uh, cut up veggies, you know, like carrot, celery, cauliflower, that kind of thing, and um, cut up sourdough bread or French bread for the spinach dip. And then on the top, if you don't want to do the candy canes, I just think it looks kind of festive, um, you can do the actual tea light, which is where I got from the dollar store to a pack of 12, I think. And this is cinnamon. And um, yeah, so I think that one turned out really cute also. Um, and it's going to be more of an appetizer one. And they do have like little small um, bowls that come in a three pack that you can get and put on top. Um, I just want to leave the bottom open for the big stuff like you know big chunks of sliced bread the veggies and the pita chips so I'll do it in thirds probably and then have some you know like I said shrimp and um you know spinach dip or something but aerial view I think they turned out really cute and this one is the cocoa bar and then this one will be my appetizer bar for um for New Year's Eve and or when if I decide to do a second one for New Year's Eve then I'll put some little um, shot glasses um, underneath or champagne glasses on the top and then more goodies on the bottom but in total guys this only cost should cost you four dollars because you're buying two of the tea light canisters holders and then a um, charger and a plate so that's four items it may cost you nothing if you already have all these items like I did and then you're just going to use your mugs and you can put taller mugs than I did there's absolutely room for them um, and gosh these are so versatile and I'm just going to take them apart come you know after the holidays and store them back where I had them so I hope you like this little short tutorial. It's super easy, guys. You really don't have to have much skill. Um, you just need a glue gun and the items, and then you're just going to put it all together for $4 or less. I hope you enjoyed this little um, project, and if you like my videos, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm a home stager, and I have lots of other videos that I've posted, hauls and such, and decorating. So happy holidays, guys. Bye.